here to talk about the Lifetime original thriller movie, Safe Room. I'd like to welcome Boris Kojo to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi Boris, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, how are you? Before we talk about Safe Room, let's quickly touch on some of your earlier work. Uh, reflect back to when you started your career. You, know, you got your BA in marketing. What inspired you to switch gears and go into acting? Um, you know, wow, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, I, I just, I just found out that Sidney Poitier passed and, and the question reminded me of, of him because, um, I started acting because I try to speak better English, you know, English is not my first language. And I came from, from Germany and, and, uh, a friend of mine told me that if I went to acting class, I could learn how to speak English better, how to lose my accent, really. Um, and it's uh, actually, the, you know, how Sidney Poitier started when he came from the Bahamas. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I, I went to acting class to learn how to speak English better. And that turned into, a, you know, a love affair with, with uh, the craft. And, and that's how I sort of started on my journey. So you're fluent in German, as you said, German is your first language, but you also speak Russian, French, Italian, and Spanish. Now, what inspired you to learn these languages? And have you spoken them in any of the past projects that you've been in? I'm not sure about Russian. I don't know where that came from. I don't speak Russian. Um, and oh, you I don't? don't? Speak oh, okay. Italian. No, but uh, yeah. No way. <laughs> no, no, I don't. That's probably Wikipedia, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, German. I, I, I actually I'm I'm doing a movie in Germany this summer, so I get to uh, act and speak my own language and and think in my own language uh, and not be confused all the time. And uh, um, it's going to be a great experience for me to just be truly myself, I guess. Nice, nice. So what led to your first paid acting role? um you know auditions and and um luck um or if you don't believe in luck uh you know purpose <laughs> i guess uh <laughs> um yeah I, I soul food was my first role and um it changed my life you know i met my wife on the show i uh i learned uh what it meant to be um you know on set every day and I uh, got to observe other actors and learn from them. I got to learn from directors and producers and the DP and the gaffers. And, and uh, you know, uh, I, it was a great apprenticeship for me, um, these four or five seasons on Soul Food. And it sort of paved the way for me to do other things. Okay, so one last question before we talk about Safe Room. Uh, we're going to go way back. Uh, to one of the first projects that you were in, uh, back to 1995 wow. TLC's Red Light Special Music Video. Uh, I had to do a double take. I was looking, I was like, that is him. That's that's you, right? That is you. I can't deny or confirm anything. <laughs> that song, Red Light Special, was a, a billboard hit, and you were so fantastic in it. How did you become a part of that music video? Uh, you know, also, it was, it was just by chance. I was in New York um, uh, on a break from college, really. And uh, this casting director asked me if I wanted to be in a TLC video. So I said, yes, of course. And that's how I ended up in yeah. the video. Uh, you know, that's that was just a coincidence. Well, you were fantastic. That's awesome. Okay, so the Lifetime original thriller movie, A Safe Room, starring your wife, the incredibly talented Nicole Ari Parker, as the lead character Lila, and Nick Sanchez as Lila's son Ian. Uh, not only are you the director of this movie, but you also play the role of their neighbor Neil. Uh, Tell me a little bit about Safe Room. Uh, Safe Room was a labor of love that we shot in Baltimore this summer, which is my wife's hometown. And uh, uh, I, I, I could relate to the, to the script. You know, it was a script about a mother who had a son with autism. And uh, he, um, you know, that relationship is something that um, 
that I could identify with, you know, we have a child with special, special needs and uh, to be able to do a movie and um, focus on representation uh, was really a, uh, the reason why I did this, you know, because um, there's millions and millions of people who are affected by autism in one way or the other. Um, and uh, to, to find Nick Sanchez, this actor who lives with autism, um, was it was a true revelation um for us because you know it, it allowed us to shine a light on autism to um to share with the world what it means like uh to live with autism and uh as a result uh normalize it which is the first step to um creating more opportunities for people who are on the spectrum you know kids young adults uh whether it's in front of the camera or behind the camera uh, so normalization is the direct product and, uh, and result of representation, and um, it makes this industry um, better. Um, so I support it all the way. So this movie was a chance for me to do that. So Safe Room is your directorial debut. Uh, congratulations. Why did you choose Safe Room as your directorial debut? And what was your experience like working on this movie? as the director? Well, like I just said, it's, uh, it's something that I related to in terms of the, the script and, and uh, the journey that I wanted to go on. My wife is the lead of the movie, so it made it easier for me. Um, I, I knew the movie was in good hands and uh, to be able to uh, direct her and all these other incredible actors, Dorenda Mateo, Mackenzie Aston, Monica Cajon, and of course, Nick Sanchez, was a way for me to, uh, you know, create a, a um, set a stage for something beautiful and then let the actors do what they do. Uh, I've always dreamed of directing. It's it's something that came natural as an extension of who I am. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to doing it um, in the future. Well, great work. Uh, sadly, we are out of time, but thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. That was Boris Kojo from the Lifetime movie, Safe Room. You take care, Boris. Bye. Bye. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.